What is up guys? Huge shout out to NDR who want to see Peter Parker's Spider-Man take on the new villains in the Age of Apocalypse expansion. So this is uh, Apocalypse 1 on Extra Mode, the third scenario of the uh, Age of Apocalypse expansion. And uh, we are playing with the uh, Expert 1 and Standard 1 sets. I think it would be fun to uh, revisit Standard 1 here even though Standard 3 is a little bit more consistent. So uh, let's go ahead and get everything set up for the villain. So uh, we have these prelude minions set aside here and we need to take them down as we travel up the uh, tower to uh, meet up with Apocalypse and take him down. And then we put the uh, Heart of the Empire, side scheme to play right here, coming in with two threat and an acceleration. Threat cannot be removed from the scheme while a prelude minion is in play. And then uh, we randomly review a set aside prelude minion. So if we roll a one, two, three, four, or five, and if we get six, we will re-roll. So let's see what we got. We got six, let's re-roll. We got a four, which would be Shadow King. So he's gonna be our first prelude minion that comes into play here. And we put him in play with the main scheme setup. Let's advance the main scheme to stage 1B, coming in with one threat. And then X is gonna be the number of his printed hit points, which is 10 right here. So if this hits 10, then it's going to uh, pop. And then uh, that will advance Apocalypse to uh, power up into his fourth and final stage here. And then let's see, he comes in here with steady and toughness. And then let's see, for gene pool right here, there is gonna be four threats starting off in there. And there's a force response after an ally is defeated by anything other than consequential damage, place three threat on here, so we don't want to be chump blocking too much. And then Shadow King says, as a force response, after the Shadow King attacks you, choose an ally you control with the highest thwart. Either discard the ally or place threat on the main scheme equal to its thwart. And he also has toughness. All right, let's take the dice aside. And then, let's see, I think we got everything ready. Okay, let's shuffle up the encounter deck here. So we cannot defeat Apocalypse until we uh, defeat all these side and get all the way up the tower and review No Longer Worthy, which is an attachment. So that will happen a little bit later. Okay, so we got the encounter deck shuffled up. Let's shuffle up our player deck here. And we are using our Web War Fanatic Justice uh, Spider-Man Peter Parker deck. And we're gonna draw up to our hand size here of uh, six in our Alter Ego. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, all right. And then let's see what we got. Okay, well, we got some supports and two swing web, kick, web kicks right off the bat. I think let's hold on to the mansion. Um, am I gonna mulligan this stuff right here? Let's keep the power of justice and mulligan. Actually, let's mulligan this too. We're gonna mulligan this card five cards and then draw five more. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so let's see. We're going to use scientists to generate a mental resource. This would be a second resource, so we can play Ironheart. After you play Ironheart from your hand, you can draw one card. Let's draw a card here. We got a strength. Oh man, that makes me tempted to play the mansion, which I think we will. So let's go ahead and use this. Actually, ooh, do we keep the backflip here? Uh, let me see. If he's scheming, ooh, we cannot take a scheme here. Uh, hmm, if we, Let's see, because Mansion can draw us a card, which I can use to either play the Warrior Grave or Endurance. I think we go for the Endurance and just lose the backflip. So this would be four resources, so we can play Avengers Mansion. We exhaust Avengers Mansion to draw a card, and let's use this as a resource so we can play Endurance. We can play under any player's control. Let's get the Peter Parker Spider-Man. We get plus three hit points, so we go from 10 up to 13 as our new max hit points. All right, let's go ahead and flip over here to hero form and dome the Spider-Man mask. Ironheart will swing for one, knock off the tough from Shadow King. Should take a consequential damage and the Spider-Man's gonna swing here for two. That'll bring him from uh, five down to three hit points and two damage counters. And then that is gonna end our turn. Yeah, let's ready back up. We're gonna draw back up to our hand size here of five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we got a double here. So it is Apocalypse's turn. He's gonna add two to the main because of the acceleration here. So this goes up to three. He's going to attack us with a base of three plus a boost card here. We have an interrupt spire sense. It says when the villain misses and attack gets you, draw a card. So let's get a card here. We got spy craft. Okay. Um, so same with the base of three plus his boost. Do we have do we have iron heart block? Gene pool is gonna get more threat. It's gonna add three threat on here. So I think we just take his attack to the face. Yeah, we're pretty tanky here, and we're Spider-Man. So three plus a boost of uh, boost effect is to attach this card to Apocalypse and his attack gain overkill. Okay, so I'm glad we didn't um, 
block with Ironheart because it would have overkill anyways. So he has plus one attack. Hit him with a base of three. So four damage. That'll bring us from 13 down to nine. And then this guy's going to hit us here for one. Um, yeah, we're going to take it. So we drop from nine down to eight. And his force response after he attacks you, which he just did, choose an ally you control with the uh, highest Thorpe. It's going to be Ironheart. And we're going to choose to either discard her or place threat on the main screen to her Thorpe. Let's put um, threat on the main scheme, so one threat with Iron Hearts, one Thorpe. All right, and then we get a face on encounter card during the encounter phase, which is, uh, what is this? Cyber Path, the attached apocalypse. After he schemes, place one threat on each side scheme. Uh, yeah, okay. And he has plus one scheme now here as well. Okay, it's back to our turn. Let's use Avengers Mansion. Let's get another card here. Okay, we got a beat cop. Are we gonna one way or another here? see i kind of want to do it um what are the side schemes i think we're okay let's let's do it we're gonna play one way or another hero action search and kind of for a side scheme review that side scheme and then draw three so we're gonna get um what is this guy Ooh, i don't like that let's get the apocalypse solution here so the side scheme coming in with three threat when the figure discard the top x cards in the counter where x equal to the numeral of this particular point value so it's gonna be 10. With the Christ icon, so we cannot remove that from the main scheme while this card is in play here. All right, and then that will come in with three threat. Now we can resolve the one way or another and then draw three cards. So one, two, three. Ooh, Moon Girl. But we only play her in Arch Eagle because um, we need to have the genius trait to get her down. So here's what I'm thinking I'm thinking that. We need to defeat Shadow King. We wanna, actually, you know what? I don't care that much about Shadow King. Defeating him would be nice, um, but the big priority is gonna be actually Apocalypse. Um, I gotta get rid of his attachments here, which we bring him down zero, we, we discard all the attachments. So that's gonna be useful. And then, hmm, do we hold on another turn here? Uh, I think we go for it. I think we've got to go for Moon Girl here as well. Okay, we're going to have... Let's check our hand. Okay, yeah, we have a lot of resources. Ironheart's going to swing for one at Apocalypse. That will knock off his tough status card here. She would take a consequence damage. She gets defeated. So she's going to be gone. Then, uh, ooh, I wish I had one more ally here. Maybe we don't go for that yet. Um, no, I think we have to at this point. Now it's a little bit too late because I kind of committed with that. All right, so this would be three resources, so we can play Swing and Web Kick. It says Hero Action Attack, deal eight damage to enemy. We're gonna hit Apocalypse here for eight, so that'll bring it from 10 down to two. That will resolve our Swing and Web Kick. And then I think we just have Peter here swing. Um, yeah, it's fine. Okay, Peter Parker's gonna swing for two at Apocalypse. That'll bring it from two down to zero. So the main scheme says, as a force interrupt, whenever he would be defeated, we just cart each attack from him and heal all his damage. So it goes from zero back up to 10 and remove 10 threat from the scheme where 10 is equal to uh, X, so it's gonna be 10. So we can clear off the fourth up in the main. Okay, so we got that cleared off. Um, and then I wanna flip down here. Uh, I hope we can draw into an ally like Black Cat or something. Do we play Quinn Carrier? We we play Quinn Carrier. We could yeah, we're gonna play Quinn Carrier before we flip. So this would be three resources, so we can play Quinn Carrier. Play only if your deck has the Avenger trait, which we do have in hero form. And we exhaust it to, ger to generate a water resource. Let's flip down here to Alpha Eagle and use science to generate a mental resource. This would be two more mental resources for a total of three, so we can play Moon Girl. Play only if your deck has a champion or genius trait. We do have the genius trait here in uh, Alpha Eagle. After you play Moon Girl from your hand, draw one card for each mental resource you use to pay for. We use three, so we draw three cards. One, two, three. Oh man, the one ally that's too expensive for us to play right now. Um, oh man, so we can't get rid of the Shadow King. He's gonna be scheming for a lot then. Let's use the webbed up here as a resource so we can play our web shooters. So we come in here with three web counters. And we can exhaust it to generate a resource, a water resource in hero form. But we're not gonna do anything right now in Ultra Ego. And then, let's see, we can't remove that from here. Does Moon Girl just swing at Shadow King? Um, or should we work on this thing? Let's, let's see, 
three threat. Let's work on this in. She's gonna Thor for two from here and drop this down to one threat. Should take two cosmetic damage. Oh, and I forgot to say, whenever the main screen's effect says to remove the threat from here, it says ignore any crisis icon. So we ignore this crisis icon whenever we do that. All right, that's gonna end our turn. Let's ready back up. Draw back up to your hands of six. Keep in. No, let's ditch Lady Spire. We haven't gotten any allies, right? Only our. Yeah, we're gonna draw our allies up. So we're gonna discard Lady Spider. Draw back up to our hands of here of six. Probably getting like a Nick Fury or something. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And they, I will take. Okay, so Pocket's turn. He's gonna add two to the main because of the acceleration. He's scheming here with a base of two plus a boost of two. So scheme for a total of four. Um, so four plus two is what? Six? Four plus two is six, yeah. Shadow King's gonna scheme for three. So this goes up to nine and it does flip at 10. So it's really close to flipping here. And then uh, we got a face iron counter card. Oh, and advance. Okay, so it is gonna flip. So Apocalypse is gonna scheme here with a base of two plus a boost, uh, boost effect. Give each player minion a tough status card. So Shao King gains toughness here. Yeah, and that's the only boost. Okay, so he's scheming for two. This will pop because it's gonna hit over 10. And when that happens, we trigger his effect. So remove out our front from the main scheme and then flip this card over and reveal Apocalypse 4. So he's now already powered up here. His stalwart toughness, his attack gain overkill, and he has 11 hit points. So we're gonna set him to 11 here. And then, uh, yeah, three, three silent. Okay, so now when the main scheme is complete and it hits 11, because that's a new print hit points, then we lose the game. So we cannot let this one hit 11 now. All right, and then that will end his turn. Okay, so it's back to us. We're going to use Avengers Mission and draw a card. Okay, coast in here is pretty big. Let's see, what do we want to do? Uh, okay, let's use Scientist to generate a mental resource so we can play Aunt May. We can exhaust Aunt May as an Alter Ego action because we are an Alter Ego to recover by four. That'll bring us from eight back up to 12. Okay. Uh, let's see, we gotta take down Shadow King. We have a lot of resources. What are we playing here? I think I wanna get down SPDR. Uh, let's see, we use our signs already, so let's go ahead and flip over here to Hero Form. And then, actually, do we need SPTR? We don't really need her. Um, let me see. So, we want to play the Warrior Grey Web. I want to play Kosen. Kosen Tutor Spycraft. We could play SPDR. Um, let me see. We get Spycraft to our hand. Then we have one, two, wait, can we play Pavitri here? If we get close in there, we get spike into our hand. Oh yeah, we can play Pavitri. Okay, so we're going to exhaust the Queen character to generate water resource so we can play the Warrior Great Web, attach a Spider Man. We now gain the Web Warrior trait, and when a Web Warrior ally leaves play, we get plus one attack until the end of the phase. All right, then we are going to use this as three resource when paying for a uh, Justice card because the part of Justice is a double, so we can play Asian Kosen. When he enters play, we can search our deck and discard pile for a preparation card, add to our hand. Let's get Spirecraft here from our discard pile, add that to our hand. Coast is going to swing for one, knock off the tough stats card from the Shadow King, who take constant damage. Spider-Man is going to swing for two at the Shadow King. So let me see, he's going to have four total damage, one life left. And then, ooh, do we put Vitri just for the Apocalypse solution here? We could gene pool it. Uh, let's see. Gene pool might be the best play. Okay, let's exhaust the web shoes to generate a water resource. This will be two more for total three. So we can play Spider Man uh, Pavitri. Whenever you enter play, remove one thing from the scheme for each web word card you control, including himself. So Peter Parker is a web word with the word of the great web, and then he is a web word. So two thread off of Gene pool. So dropping that down to two. And then Pavitri is going to swing for one. Knock out the Shadow King who takes constant damage. Shadow King goes into the victory display. We have just knocked out our first prelate minion here. And then let's see, do we have Moon Girl do anything? We could, uh, I think we're okay. We're gonna keep her, actually let's check our discard pile or our deck. Are we gonna deck out? We're not gonna deck out yet. So I think it's okay to keep Moon Girl in play for um, the same what we got next turn. So let's end our turn here. Actually, wait, wait, let's check our deck. Okay, deck again. We're drawing five. We get two attacks with two spires and we will deck out. So never mind. we're gonna use Moon Girl here. Let's have her Thor for two from Gene Pool and just clear that off. She would take two cosmetic damage and get defeated. And then we should be drawing into uh, Nick Fury here. So let's ready back up. Ending our turn, drawing back up to our hand size of five in hero form. Okay, 
There is Nick. Awesome. Do we have a double left? I'm not sure. So pocket this turn, he's gonna add two to the main because it'll be a celebration here. If it's 10, we do lose. He's gonna attack us, spark sense with trigger so we can draw a card. And this will be his boost card. We're gonna say it's a deface because uh, well, our last card is the backflip at the bottom of our deck. Um, we're gonna taste it a face because uh, if we have an ally block, uh, Dart will go in the gene pool. So three plus one is gonna be four damage. That'll bring us from 12 down to eight. And then encounter face, we get an encounter card here, which is an assault, the villain attacks you. Oh man, we're gonna deck out with Nick here. Um, that's fine, we're gonna draw into the backflip. So we're gonna trigger spider sense here. So when the villain initiates an attack, but right now we can draw a card. We deck out, so we get a face down encounter card. And let's shuffle up the discard back here back to the deck. So definitely get in the back with the Nick at the bottom of the deck when we deck out. It's not great because then they won't go back into the shuffle. But I think we're set up well enough now to where that's okay. So he's attacking us. Um, this will be his boost card. We're going to just take to the face because we have a back flip. And the boost here is place two threat on gene pool. So two threat going on gene pool. And he's just doing three damage. Let's just backflip it. So when you take any amount of damage from an attack, prevent all the damage. We're jumping out of the way, avoiding three damage. Then we'll have to review the encounter card now because we're still in the phase where we are revealing encounter cards. So we got Cooling of the Week placed fourth on Gene Pool. So this goes from two up to six. All right, and that's gonna end up Pogles' turn and it's back to us. Okay, let's see what we got here. I wanna get the Undersecret, that's down for sure. Let's exhaust Avengers Mansion so we can draw a card. SPDR, uh, she's not useful until we get the Web of Life and Destiny out. So let's see. So the crisis is in place. We can't move that from the main while the crisis is there. I think we need to control the threat on gene pool a little bit. Um, let's see. What are we looking for again? Oh, I was looking for the well life destiny. So I don't want to get Black Cat down right now while we're still waiting on that. So I think play is Nick Fury and then a beat cop. Um, and under surveillance. Okay, so. Let's use a Quinn Care to generate a wild resource. This will be three more resources for a total of four. So we can play Nick Fury. When Nick Fury enters play, choose one, we'll pick the one and draw three. So one, two, three. Okay, ooh, we got some nice resource cards here. So this would be a double resource and paying for a yellow card. So we can play under surveillance and attach this to the main scheme here. This will increase the target threat by the main scheme by four. So instead of us losing at 11, we're gonna lose at 15 now. So we have. Uh, a lot more breathing room. And then I think I'm gonna get down a beat cop here. Uh, yeah, so this would be three resources so we can play beat cop. And then we can exhaust beat cop to move one threat from a scheme over to the beat cop. Let's do that. Put out the apocalypse solution. When this defeat this card, the uh, top 11 cards in the counter because X is now 11. So yeah, 11 cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11. Okay, we got rid of a lot of infinite soldiers there. Um, I don't know how many there are in the infinite module set. Let's see. There's eight cards in there. We have one, two, three, four. I saw a boost earlier. That's five infinite soldiers. Um, man, let's check the encounter because if there's all the infinite cards are gone, then we can just leave the threat on gene pool, right? One, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven. Oh, yeah, that's it because gene pool. So all the G um, infinite cards are gone from the encounter deck here because we know that out. Do you get master plan as well? Yeah, master plan is gone as well. So there's no more milling from there. So actually, I don't need to worry about gene pool for now. Um, yeah, okay. So we defeat the side scheme with the beat cop. All right. And then let's see. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. So we could just knock out another. Oh no, we don't have the damage yet. Yeah, because the Pearly Minion's coming with toughness. So I'm going to be short of re a damage. Unless I flip down to Ultra. Uh, we got rid of the advances. Right, it's both advances. So I flip down, he's going to scheme once. We're actually going to be okay. Um, scheme once. Yeah, we're going to flip down here. We don't want Nick Fury blocking anyways, even though if we don't care about Gene Pool. Um, so I think flipping down. Oh, just kidding. If I flip down, I can't use a web shooter. So there's no point in flipping down because I want to use web shooters and our um, scientists to generate a metro resource, but I realize that they can't stack. So we're not going to worry about this because I don't want to get that minion right now. Let's attack Apocalypse. So Kosin's going to Thor for two, clear off the main scheme. Actually, wait, we're not going to attack. We need a Thor. Um, Pavitri's going to swing for one, knock off his tough stats card. We're going to do a little bit of both. 
Uh, Nick Fury is going to throw for two from Gene Pool. Let's just drop this down. Down at four. He'll take a damage. Peter Parker is going to swing for two at Apocalypse. That will bring him from 11 down to nine. We just want to kind of, because Peter has higher attack than Thor, so we're just going to do that with him. That's going to end our turn. Let's ready back up. I think we're going to keep SPDR because uh, we're going to try to draw the level life and destiny here soon. So keeping her, drawing back up to five. Okay. Uh, okay. So it is Apocalypse's turn. He's going to add two to the main because the celebration is still in play. I don't want to clear that yet until we can defeat the minion, uh, the pro minion in one go. He's going to attack us here. We're going to draw a card with Spider Sense. And let's see how we could just, yeah, let's just have Nick Fury block. I think that's fine. So Nick will block because our threat move is going to go up the, uh, it's going to get crazy. I have to get the beat cops out. So I'm okay adding threat on Gene Pool. So same with the base of three plus a boost card here of three. So six damage knocks out Nick. Since the ally was defeated by non-consumer damage, we place three on Gene Pool. It goes from four up to seven. And then we get an encounter card, which is going to be under fire. Uh, we can't cancel the surge with the enhanced fire sense, right? Yeah, okay, so we're going to let this trigger. Uh, so when reviewed, review the top card of the encounter deck, which is Exhaustion. Okay, so this is going to exhaust your Denny, and this card will surge. We got Eviction Notice. Oof, okay. You may flip to Arch Eagle form. Choose one. We're not going to flip here because I want to enhance Spire Sense if we get Shadows of the Past. So we're not flipping, and it says to just card one random card. Oh, wait, wait. Okay, we are going to flip then. So we're going to flip over to Arch Eagle form. We cannot exhaust ourselves because we got the exhaustion right before it. So whether just card one card ran from your hand. Uh, actually, let's just roll the dice here because we have the dice. So we roll a one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see what we got. We got a two. Oh man, we're losing the genius here. All right. And then under fire will now surge. We get another encounter card, which is the fittest attached to a minion with the high spread hit points. Uh, if there is no minion, it will surge. And we got the shout of the pass. Okay, so Vulture is coming out here with the shout of the pass. That was a surge fest from Apocalypse. He comes out, he has Quick Strike, but we're in Arc Eagle, so Quick Strike does not go through. We get a side scheme highway robbery. We shuffle these three Vulture cards into the encounter deck. Maybe I should have done a uh, standard three. No, I mean, it's fine. It wasn't the standard sets, it was the expert sets that really caused that surge train. Okay. So, high robbery uh, comes in with three threat and acceleration. It says, when reviewed, each player puts a random card from their hand face down here. Oh, wait, let's roll the dice. Why am I shuffling? So, if we roll a one, two, three, four, five, and a six, we will be rolled. We got a five, so we're gonna put the power of justice um, face down here. Oops. And then when we defeat the higher robbery, then we get it back to our hand. All right, it is back to our turn. Uh, let's exhaust and main so we can heal by four. I'll bring it from eight back up to 12. And he didn't quick strike because we were in Auction Eagle. Let's exhaust Avengers Mansion so we can draw a card. We've got another B cop, so we get get that built up a little bit. Let's, uh, let's see. Do we use Scientist Quinker? Play the B cop. Then we could play Swing Web Kick. Uh, yeah, I think we Swing you and Web Kick the Vulture to keep our allies, hmm. Oh, no, no, we want to clear this off first to get the double back. Okay, so Colson's gonna thwart here for two from Highway Robbery. Drop this from three down to one. He'll take a cost for damage, he gets knocked out. We're going to exhaust Beat Cop to move a threat from a scheme over to Beat Cop. Let's get a threat from Highway Robbery. That would defeat this side scheme. It gets discarded and then we get the card back to our hand, which is the power of justice. Now we're going to use Scientist to generate a mental resource. This will be double paying for a yellow card, so we can play a beat cop. Let's go ahead and exhaust it to move one third from a scheme over to here. Let's get one from Heart of the Empire. Okay, and then, let's see. I don't want Pravitri dying right now without our um, thinking measure. If we play this, yeah, we'll be short on one resource for SPDR. Uh, I think that's fine. We're going to flip over here to Hero Form, and then let's use... The Quinn care to generate a resource. This would be two more for a total of three, so we can play Swing Web Kick, Hero Action Attack, do eight damage to the enemy. Let's knock out the Vulture here with the big Web Kick. And then that is gonna end our turn. Um, yeah, then we keep everything the same. Yeah, let's ready back up. And then we're gonna start to get momentum with these beat cops uh, when the third one goes online. Let's draw back up to our hands as here. Five, keeping SP there still, holding on for that level of life and destiny. Okay, we got it here. As long as we don't discard with the Vulture card, 
Oof, okay. So it's Apocalypse turn. He's gonna add two to the main with the acceleration. This goes up to three. He's gonna attack us. It's fire sense trigger so we can draw a card. And we're gonna take his attack to the face. So three plus a boost of one will be four damage. That'll bring us from 12 down to eight. Then he's gonna deal us a face iron encounter card, encounter phase, which is Wolf Among Sheep. The Prelate minion activates against you, otherwise Apocalypse activates. So he's gonna attack us again. We can draw another card from Spider Sense. Ooh, enhanced Spider Sense, but it's not the cancel that we need, I think. Um, do we take this one to the face? Yeah, let's take it to the face as well. So three plus a boost here, there's no five boost. The boost effect is you are confused. So we do get confused and we're taking another three damage. I'll bring it from eight down to five. But we're Spider-Man Peter Parker, so we can take all of that. That's gonna end his turn. And I think we're gonna go online here with our engine. So let's play the Web of Life just for free. Ignore this card's resource cost. If your Jenny has a Web War trait, we do with the Warrior Great Web. So we can put this down here. Peter Parker's gonna thwart. Let's just get rid of our confused. We're gonna exhaust Avengers Mansion. Let's draw a card with a backflip. Uh, means I can stay in hero, hero form another turn. So we want to save this in our hand, right? What are we doing with this? Uh, we want to get down SVDR and Beacock. And if I can hold Lady Spider, that would be ideal. And we can do that. Okay, so we're going to hold this. Hold this. Uh, actually, Pabitual draws a card, so we don't need to use our web shooters here. Okay, let's have Pavitri. Thor for one from Gene Pool. He'll take a cost for damage. You get this, this card. With the effect of the web line Disney, when a web war ally is played, we can draw a card. Okay. Then we're going to use the Queen Gear to generate a resource. This will be a second resource, so we can play SPDR here. And then this right here will be three resources, so we can play our third and final B Cop. So now we're going to control the threat like crazy. So SPDR is going to swing for one Apocalypse. That brings her from 9 down to 8. She'll take a consequential damage. Exhaust all three B cops. Let's take three threat off of the main. Drop it down to one. Each B cop will have one more threat. So three on this one, one on this one, two on this one. And let's just rearrange them. We're gonna get them in order of their things. So three, two, one on three B cops. And then we can keep the web shooters here. Uh, we're gonna take another turn in hero form because we have a backflip. Let's end our turn. We're gonna ready back up. All right, draw them back up to five. One, two, three, four, five, okay. And Moon Girl is coming up at the bottom of our deck, and unfortunately, so that means that she won't be in our next um, shuffle, that's okay. So Apocalypse turn is gonna add two to the main with the acceleration, goes up to three. He's gonna attack us, Spire Sense triggers, we draw a card. We're going to take it to the face, we have a backflip. So three plus a boost, uh, the boost effect is give Apocalypse a tough stats card. So we're just going to be taking three damage. We're going to play a backflip. When you take any of my damage and attack, jump out of the way, ignore all that damage, and then we get a face on counter card and then counter face. A uh, sweeping swoop, stun your hero, and to play against Surge. No vulture, so we just get stunned. Right, he's going to deck out, so this would be the time to... Actually, how many counter cards are there? Yeah, yeah, he's not going to deck out yet. So this is the time that we want to flip down because we're not getting an advance for sure. Uh, let's see here. Do we... Okay, let's use Avengers Mansion and draw a card. We're going to attack. Let's remove our stun here. And then I think I want to play... Uh, let's see. We're going to... We're going to exhaust one B cop to move one there from a scheme over to the B cop. We clear off the heart of the empire. When that happens, we uh, due to one defeat effect, we randomly reveal a set like Pele minion. So we have four left because we already defeated um, the Shadow King. So let's roll one, two, three, four, five, six. We will re-roll. So we got got a two. So it's gonna be Mr. Sinister. Ooh, that is actually the one that I wanted the most because Mr. Sinister has retaliate. He comes in with uh, retaliates, toughness, and villainous. And then we flip this card over to the Towering Citadel with two accelerations and three threat. So the reason that I want him is so that Moon Girl can die to retaliate. Uh, and then, yeah. Oh, but do we, can we kill him here without a swing web kick? Moon Girl dies to retaliate. Oh, Lady Spark can take a retaliate. SPDR uh, can finish him off. So we don't need a swing web kick. Okay, so that's gonna be a play. We wanna flip down here. Uh, how do we, let's see. Girl, 
as PR thwarts. Oh, wait, we may not have it without the swing and web kick. Oof, okay. So we're gonna have SPDR thwart for two. Let's take it off of the main. She has an effect. After she takes consequential damage from an attack, or uh, when she takes excess consequential damage, which she's gonna take two for Thor, she, she can come back to her hand with her effect. Then we can draw a card with the effect of the Web of Life and Destiny, which is a one way or another. I don't think I'm gonna play that here. Uh, we may have to kill off. Uh, I don't think there's any way to kill off Moon Girl right now. Yeah, because I can't play her here for me. I need to play Swing Web Kick first. Um. Let me see, if we play Moon Girl, how would I... No, we play Rivian Draw and deck out already. Yeah, never mind. I don't know what I was playing. So I really won't get rid of her. I could just use her as a resource for Swing Web Kick. But then we don't get a player when we flip them down. Um, yeah, I think the play is to just do that, actually. So actually, we're going to stay in Hero Form. We're going to save Moon Girl for next turn. And then we don't have to worry about Gene Pool because we know we got rid of all the infinite cards. So we just want to swing web kick and get Lady Spider here. So let's exhaust the Queen character to generate one resource. Uh, this will be three more for total four. So we can play Lady Spider. She is going to attack Sinister, knock off his tough stats card. She will take a retire from him, and she'll also take two constant damage for attacking, so she has three damage on her. And then she stays alive there. Then we could also use Beat Cops to knock him out, but I think it's okay. Let's keep the Moon Girl. We're going to uh, exhaust a Web Shoes here to generate a resource. This would be a double for a total of three, so we can play a Swing Web Kick and hit Mr. Sensor for eight, knock him out. He has uh, victory three, so he goes in victory play as well. That will resolve our Swing Web Kick. And then, actually, do we stay in, do we just flip down here? Because we have five life, I think. I mean, he's not gonna pop that no matter, no matter what. Yeah, let's actually, we're going to exhaust both Beat Cops here to get two more threats. So one off the main and one off gene pool. So this one's gonna have three as well. So there are four, three, and two now. And we're gonna flip down to Alter. Uh, yeah, we're safe. We're gonna exhaust and mate to heal. There's no more advances as well. Go from five up to nine here. And then even when we get two encounter cards, we should be okay, because there's not gonna be activations, I think. So that is gonna end our turn. We're gonna ready back up. Um, Probably a better way for me to, do, to have done that, but it's okay. We're gonna have a big turn coming up here. We're gonna keep these cards in our hand, draw back up to six. We decked out, face down counter card. Ooh, Iron Heart would have been another ally damage to get rid of the tough there. Okay. We're gonna shuffle up our discard out here, and then uh, draw back up to six here. So we're climbing up the uh, towering citadel now. Uh, let's see, one, two, three, three cards, so three more. So it is Apocalypse turn. He's gonna add one, two, three to the main now because the celebration has um, doubled. He's scheme with a base of three plus a boost tier of three. So this is uh, gonna be six threat. So this goes up to nine, which is scary. But luckily we don't have any more advances or anything. In counter phase, we have two encounter cards. First one is Vulture's Plane. We're gonna view this card one card at random from your hand. We have six cards. Let's roll the dice. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's a three, so we lose Ironheart. And then it says, place one threat on the main scheme for each different resource type this card this way. So just one resource, the mental here. So one threat on the main, it goes up to 15, or sorry, 10, I mean, whoops, 15 we will lose. Yeah, it pops at 11 plus four with under uh, surveillance. Last encounter card is Barrage. He says, teamwork, whenever he attacks, do one damage to each character you control, and that will resolve that. Okay, so it's back to our turn. Let's exhaust AMA, let's heal. We go from nine back up to our full health of 13 with the Endurance. We're going to exhaust Avengers Mansion, draw a card. And I think here's where we turn everything around. Uh, ooh, this is our only wild resource slash mental. So we're gonna use Scientist to generate a mental resource, exhaust a Quinn character to generate another mental resource. Uh, wait, wait, actually, wait, wait. Let's kill off Lady Spider first, because um, she might draw some mental resource. So we're gonna have Lady Spider, four for two from the main scheme. Drop this from 10 down to 8. She has an effect. As she thwarts and removes threat from a scheme, remove an equal amount of threat from a different scheme. So we're going to take 2 threat off the gene pool here as well and drop this down to 3. Then she's going to take the 2 conquer damage, get it knocked out, and we can draw a card with the effect of the Web of Life and Destiny when the Web of War allies play, and then we get plus 1 attack with the effect of the War of the Great Web. So we're going to draw a card here. Okay, it wasn't mental. Let's use Scientific Generate Mental Resource. 
Clinker is a generate a while, which we're going to use as a mental resource, and this would be another while, which we're going to use as a third mental resource. So we play Moon Girl again. Play only have the champion genius trait. We are a genius here. We're going to draw three cards because we use three mental resources to play her. So one, two, three. Okay. Um, then we're going to flip over here to Hero Form. Uh, oh, I should have had it throw out the Targon Citadel. Okay, so we're going to flip over to Hero Form and then. Uh, let's see, I think we, do we kill Apocalypse here? How did he, hmm. Or do I clear off the next, I think we clear off Apocalypse here. We get a, get a towering throw, get another minion. Actually, okay, wait, if we clear off the Tower and Citadel, we can have play a minion. We could kill it. And then, can we thwart out the next one as well? One, two, three, four. No, we're gonna be short on the removal. Darn. Uh, so we kill the Prelate minion. Can we also kill Apocalypse is the question. And I don't think we can. Yeah, okay, that's okay. So we just focus on this guy here. So. Let's do, I should have checked the encounter, kind of two cards left, so it's not going to be that advanced here for sure, right? There's, we got rid of all the uh, surging cards with the Expert 1. So let's have Peter Parker swing for two at this, or wait, wait, we're swinging for three. Yeah, we're swinging for three because of the War of the Great Web. Because uh, and a Web War Left Plate and um, Lady Spider. So three damage on him. That means Espira can knock him out, so... Let's go ahead and actually, should we just go for it? Uh, let's use this as a resource so we can play our Spire Tracer, attach it to this minion here. When attached minions defeated, we can remove three threat from the scheme. So I'm kind of tempted to get this thing out, and then we get the next side scheme. Okay, yeah, then we can throw it out here. Uh, yeah, okay, so we're going to no, we play SPDR, attack it. Moon Girl knocks off the thing. Yeah, we're short one threat removal is the only problem. Um, yeah, I think we need you to just hold for another turn then. Darn, that would be really cool. Uh, yeah, we could also, we have so many resources, we could play the webbed up now, but I don't think I will. I'm gonna keep the resource in our hand. Uh, so let's use, oh, man, maybe we should just use it. That's fine. So this would be one resource. We're gonna exhaust, I uh, know we're just gonna use a double here. This would be a double resource, uh, let's use this one. So we can play SPDR. She's gonna swing for one, knock out Barrage. Should take off more damage. When he's defeated, we can trigger our Spider Tracer, remove three threat from a scheme. And we're gonna take three, let's see, the main scheme's at eight, it flips at 15. Let's take three off the gene pool. And then, Let's see, Moon Girl could, we could just kill Fox and not clear up all the threat from the main. Yeah, let's just do that, I wanna use our resources. So Moon Girl's gonna swing here for two, knock off Apocalypse's tough stats card. She would take two cards damage. Then we're gonna use this as three resources so we can play a swing web kick. Here we're actually attack eight damage on Apocalypse, that'll bring him from eight down to zero. And then, uh, so when we defeat him, we remove all the threat from the main scheme and discard all of his attachment, he doesn't have any. And then uh, he hews back to 11 here. That will resolve our swing web kick. And then that's gonna end, oh, let's exhaust, let's do two B cops. I should have did this one earlier. Move two threat from this scheme over. So this goes down to one. These two B cops have one more threat. So five, four, and two. We'll keep this one here. That's gonna end our turn. Let's ready back up. So we got everything cleared off. We are ready to go for the kill here. Drawing back up to our hands as a five, keeping the genes in our hand. And let's check our this card out here. How many swing web kicks? Yeah, we have two more left. Cool. So it is a pocket's turn. He's gonna add three to the main because of the double celebration. He's gonna attack those spire sense triggers. We draw a card. And we got both backflips. We're gonna take it base of three plus a boost here of boost effect as you are stunned. And then three damage. Let's use a backflip. We can jump out of way, avoid that three damage. Then we get a face icon card. He decks out, so permanent celebration stone goes on the main scheme. We shuffle up the encounter deck back to the, or the discard pile back to the encounter deck. 
And now we have the advances and all those nasty gene pool cards back, but we cleared gene pool off entirely, so we should be all right here. We just gotta deal with this encounter card, and I don't think we're gonna deck out again. Okay, so this would be uh, an encounter card. Stun your hero, emotions played against Surge. We're already stunned, fortunately, so nothing happens with that. And then it doesn't surge, and it's back to our turn. Okay, let's go ahead and attack to remove our stun before I forget. Then we're going to uh, exhaust Avengers Mansion. Let's draw a card. We got a webbed up. Then we play Coast in here. We can get Spycraft down as well. Uh, let's see, can we? If we get a Prelate Minion, I don't think we can knock it out in one go. I'm trying to knock them all out in one go. Uh, we could do with the beat cop though. Okay, so let's go ahead and use this as a double resource and paying for a yellow card. Quinn Care will generate one more resource. It's gonna be a total of three for yellow for yellow to play uh, Asian Coast in here. Let's move our beat cops up here. When Coast enters play, search your deck in this card file for a spycraft or cover vision card, which is spycraft and it's only one in our deck. Add to your hand and then shuffle up our deck here. So we've got two swing weapons left in the deck, and the deck is looking pretty low, so we should be getting them soon. Up. Okay, so we got the spy craft. Then we're going to exhaust B Cop to move one deck from the scheme over to B Cop. So B Cop now has three. That will defeat the Towering Citadel. So when defeated, uh, review a Ram Sass I probably a minion. We have three left here. If we roll a one or two, it's gonna be Sugar Man, three or four, Mikhail Raster Team, and five or six, Abyss. Oh, uh, I don't know if you guys saw that it was a three, so we get Abyss. And then this says remove this card from the game and we also reveal Tyrant's Throne. So we are here in the Tyrant's Throne where Apocalypse is. This has four threat. Threat cannot be removed while a Prelate Minion is in play. This guy has toughness. He has an effect when he activates, but we're gonna just kill him here, so it doesn't matter. Um, okay, so let's have, we're gonna have Kosin. No, I don't want Kosin. We're gonna have SPDR first sport for two. We can't throw from here because this can't remove threat when he's in play, so from the main. Drop in from three down to one. Should take excess consecutive damage, come back to our hand with her effect. We draw a card with the effect of Love of Life and Destiny. We got a swing web kick. Um, okay, Kosin is gonna swing for one. Knock off the tough stats card from Abyss. Should take consecutive damage. Then we're gonna exhaust Beat Cop here for a second effect. So exhaust Beat Cop and discard it to do one damage um, to a minion for each threat on here. There's five threats, five damage on Abyss. That will knock him out. So he is defeated. And then Tyrant's Throne here, we want to clear that off. So, Moon Girl is gonna thwart here for two from Tyrant's Throne. Drops from four down to two. She'll take two constant damage, get defeated. And then, let's see, uh, we're going to, oh wait, we can't clear that off, huh? Um, I, I could if SPR dies, but I wanna see everyone around. I think it's fine, I think we just kill her then. Um, we have Spycraft as well. Let's use a double resource here so we can play SPDR back down. She is going to Thor for two from Tyrant's Throne and clear off this side scheme here. Uh, okay, and then let's see. So when defeated, we uh, review a Ram Sassai for the minion, so we have one more left. And this will be the last one here right before Apocalypse. So one, two, or three, Mikhail, uh, four, five, six, Sugar Man. Got a three, so it's gonna be Mikhail Rasputin. When he attacks, do one damage to your identity. And that will be the last Prelimine with toughness here as well. And then when this defeat, we flip it over and review no longer worthy, attached to Apocalypse. So he is now no longer worthy. Uh, he cannot take damage while Prelimine is in play. And then uh, he heals five. He's already at full hit points of 11, so we just keep him there. And when we defeat him now, we can ignore the force interrupt on the main scheme, and he's actually defeated. We can do that. And then she would take two cluster damage, get knocked out. We can draw a card with the effect of Web of Life Destiny because the web were out of the play. We drew a victory. Um, got an ally here. If I get him down, we can knock off the tough. Ah, the beat cop is short one damage to knock out Mikhail Rasputin. Yeah, the beat cop have one, had one more threat on it. Uh, we could have done it, but that's fine. I think we just play him and then save Enhanced Spider Sense in our hand here. Uh, and then we're gonna use the back flip in our hand as well. So let's exhaust the web shoes to generate a wild resource. It gets discarded now. This would be 
uh, two more for total three. So we play for victory. When, when he enters play, remove one threat from the scheme for each world where card you control. Um, we're actually not going to use his effect because it's not a full response, so we don't have to trigger it. So we can use our beat cop. Um, he's going to swing for one, knock off the tough from Mikhail Rasputin. We'll take a consequence of damage. We're going to exhaust beat cop to move one threat from the scheme over to the beat cop. So this beat cop now has five. All right. And then that is going to end our turn. We're going to save these cards in our hand, and we should be able to end it next turn. Let's ready back up. And we're going to draw back up to our hand size here of five in hero form, keeping these three cards. So there's two more cards. All right, so Apocalypse's turn, he's going to add two to the main because of the acceleration there. He's going to attack us, Spire Sense, so we can draw a card. And then we're going to take his attack to the face. He's hitting with a base of three plus a boost card of two, so five damage. We're going to play a backflip and jump out of the way, avoid all five of that damage. And then Mikhail Rasputin is going to hit us here. Uh, let's just let's see when he attacks. Yeah. So, Force Intro, whenever he attacks you, do one damage to your identity. We drop from Thurston down to 12. Then we're going to take his two damage. So that would bring us from 12 down to 10 with his attack. Then we get one face out encounter card, and we do have an enhanced Spire Sensor. Caught off guard, discard, of course, support your control. Uh, let's discard this Beat Cop here. And then it is back to our turn. So, we're going to exhaust this Beat Cop for its effect, exhaust it, and do a damage to, and discard it to do a damage to a minion for each turn here. Five. On the kill Rasputin, that will knock him out here as well. He goes in the victory display as well. And now when we defeat Apocalypse, then he is officially defeated. Um, let's use Avengers Mage so we can draw a card. I want to get the swing web kick actually. So we're gonna use uh, two resources here. Uh, actually, do we have it? Uh, this would be two resources, so we can play Black Cat. When she enters play, this card top two cards of your deck. One, two. Add each mental one resource to your hand with swing web kick. And I think we actually don't have the resource to play both, um, but that is okay. So we're gonna have Black Cat swing for one at Apocalypse, stop bringing from 10 down to 11. She, uh, she doesn't take constant damage for attacks. But Victory swings for one, that'll bring her from 10 down to nine, he'll take a damage. is gonna swing for one, that'll bring her from nine down to eight, he'll take a constant damage here as well. And then we're gonna use this as three resources, so we can play a swing web kick and hit Apocalypse for eight as a hero action, and that'll bring her from eight down to zero. And then since we have uh, defeated all the mins and everything and got no longer worthy, when he goes down to zero this time, he is defeated. And that is Apocalypse on Expert Mode.